Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can send motions to Unreal Engine 5 via the Unreal Live Link plugin and retarget them to MetaHuman characters via the IK Rig system. To start off, I've created a MetaHuman character here via the CC to MetaHuman workflow. If you're unfamiliar with this workflow, please check out our dedicated tutorial in the description. There is also a series of dedicated tutorials for Unreal Live Link if you're unfamiliar with the plugin. You can find these on our Reusing Courses page. To proceed, you'll need to ensure that you have at least one character model selected to transfer to Unreal first, as this workflow requires a target skeletal mesh. Once the transfer is complete with Unreal Live Link, you'll find the motion in Unreal utilizing your CC character's mesh, complete with body and facial animation. Once everything is transferred into Unreal, we can move on to the IK Rig retargeting to retarget the motion to a MetaHuman character. I'll start by right clicking in the content drawer and selecting IK Rig under animation and then our CC character Kevin's skeletal mesh. In Kevin's IK Rig, we need to define the root and IK goals. There's more detailed information about this step in the official Unreal documentation as well as a dedicated manual for MetaHuman retargeting. First, I'll add a new solver for full body IK, then proceed to set the pelvis bone as root, and then set root bone on selected solver. That's the easy part done. Now you need to set IK effectors by right clicking on the end bones of each limb hierarchy and selecting new IK goal. Do this for the hands and feet bones. From there, we need to create some new retargeting chains. I'll start by selecting all of the bones in the spinal column, then right clicking and selecting new retarget chain from selected bones to map them from the hierarchy. Click on no goal for the spinal bones because they are not limbs and therefore don't need an IK effector. The same goes for the head bone. For limbs like the arms here, I'll select all the bones starting from the upper arm and do the same thing, only this time choosing Assign Goal which will automatically assign the previously defined hand as the goal. Repeat the same process for the other limbs. You can check out the Unreal documentation to confirm which critical chains need to be mapped. You won't need to worry about the face, as once you've mapped the head bone the facial expressions will be triggered together. Make sure you save before exiting. Next, we want to create an IK retargeter, so let's start by right clicking and this time choosing IK retargeter and the IK rig we just defined. Let's open the new Kevin retargeter and assign the IK underscore metahuman rig as our target IK rig asset. Make sure that you assign the proper body types as the target preview mesh as well. I'll offset the target model so we can see it separately, and then click on Run Retargeter. After that, I can preview and apply any motion imported from CC with our Kevin character rig. However, you'll notice that the fingers are messed up. One final thing to do then is under Chain Mapping, we'll define None for the source chain of the pinky, ring, middle, and index metacarpal bones along with all of the arm twist bones. This is because the MetaHuman rig has a slightly different hand rig setup from CC characters. After that, we're good to go in terms of applying body motions and facial expressions. We can head over to the Asset Browser, select our talking animation, and then hit Export Selected Animations. I'll put it in my MetaHuman Animations folder and add a suffix onto it so we can more easily distinguish it later. Okay, lastly, let's take a look at applying the animation to our MetaHuman character. Again, to get our CC facial mesh onto the MetaHuman character here, please follow the dedicated tutorial. I'll start by right clicking and adding a level sequence. 
From there, I want to add a track and select our CC character Kevin's blueprint. Before proceeding, I'll delete the default animation tracks and then add our retargeted motion to the body track, which will include the facial expressions. And that's all there is to it. There's now simple and enhanced new workflows with which to apply your CC character facial meshes to metahuman bodies, as well as apply any facial and body animation from CC or iClone to your metahuman characters. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.